Some time ago, China's northern and northeastern regions suffered extreme rainfall and severe flooding. The Chinese People's Liberation Army and the People's Armed Police Force immediately responded to the call for rescue and disaster relief efforts. They worked so hard to protect people's lives and property, thus serving as pioneers and showing a good image of the army. I met with his number two person here in, in uh, excuse me, in uh, um, India uh, today. Um, so it's not like there's a, a a crisis if I don't personally speak to him. It'd be better if I did. But uh, I think, look, this is not a criticism. It's an observation. He has his hands full right now. He has overwhelming unemployment with his youth. One of the major economic tenets of his plan isn't working at all right now. We're not looking to decouple from China. What I'm not going to do is I'm not going to sell China material that would enhance their capacity to make more nuclear weapons, to engage in defense activities that are contrary to what is viewed as most people think was a positive development in the region. And, uh, but we're not trying to hurt China. <laughs> 